thank you for joining us for another video. On one of our previous videos I opened it with the sound of nature. This one I've decided to open with the sound of Christmas because I think it's pretty much where we're going to be before we start seeing life return to any sort of normality. Now the idea of this video, me and my colleague, my chief investigator Becky, uh, we're discussing what we could do to bring you guys some content during this lockdown since we can't go out and do investigations. And Becky suggested doing a follow-up video, uh, which I actually thought was quite a good idea. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be following up on the investigations that we've done. But I thought at the same time it'd be a good idea for the benefit of our new subscribers and new viewers to give you... A little bit of history on how Ghost Hunter Wales came to be, how it all started, and give, just give you a little bit of insight into the history of how it all began, as well as updating you on the investigations. It pretty much all started because uh, I used to run a retail business in Bangor in North Wales, and we we had some strange goings on there. I mean, apart from the feeling that sometimes we never felt alone, our CCTV was capturing stuff that we couldn't explain. Now we had a YouTube any YouTube channel anyway for the shop because we used to run gaming events, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic: The Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of thing, and gaming videos were put on our YouTube channel. But when I closed the shop, I decided I changed the name of the channel and put up the uh, the cctv footage which i called paranormal or not you can go onto our youtube channel all the videos are there and the idea of it was to see if any of you viewers could tell us what was going on um and that was pretty much the start of, of ghost hunter wales on youtube now to support that i also put up a facebook group of the same name members came on board on the facebook group Facebook group and from that from those members a team was put together and we launched the uh, paranormal investigation side of, of Ghost Hunter Wells and that is pretty much where we're up to today so I'm going to start off by introducing you to some of the group members now this this video was taken from our first group meeting uh, which was held in a local pub but this will give you a chance to meet some of the members so have a watch of this Welcome to the first meeting for uh, Ghost Hunters, uh, Ghost Hunter Wales. We'll introduce you to the team first off, I think. Um, not that I'm any good with names and faces, so uh, we have Becky. Hello. <laughs> we have <laughs> Lulu. Is it, is it Lulu or can we call you Lou? Call me whatever. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go. I answer to most like things. To be fair. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go for Lou tonight. Deckard. <laughs> Catherine. Darren North. I've got Darren down as being subject to transport, but obviously we've discussed the transport yeah, issue, so yeah. Darren should be part of the main team. Um, then we've got Darf here, yeah. who's in who's in as a reserve, um, because she works shifts. I do, yeah. Yeah, and then we've got Stephanie, who can't be with us tonight. She's also in as a as a reserve. Yeah. Um. Okay, so there you got to meet some of the team members, and the team members haven't changed much from when from when that video was made. But one thing I will explain is when you go to our channel and see one of our videos you're watching 40 or 50 minutes of what is basically the 
the highlights from from that investigation but there's an awful lot more work goes in to our investigations to what you actually see in the videos and the same rules are applied whether whatever the investigation is whether it's somebody's home a business or a derelict building we follow the same procedures every time and the first thing that happens is at least one of our team members will go out and look at the building try to get a sense of what we might encounter the size of the building all sorts of aspects like that and from that information a team will be put together that we feel is going to be best to suit that investigation and obviously we can work out what equipment is needed as well um, and once all that is done we will then arrange to go and do the investigation then of course the video is done and you get to see the video but even then that that still isn't the end of it because we do follow up particularly if it's a private residence and there's a family we do follow up with them to find out what the level of activity is since we've left do we need to go back and do more do we need to arrange a cleansing all sorts of stuff like that so and obviously with this follow-up video that we're watching now we will be giving you that information of what is happening now since we left those investigations now the pub that that was filmed in incidentally was the subject of our first investigation which for a first investigation we thought went very well that was until we got home with the footage and went to review the footage and we come to realize that all the work that we'd done in the living quarters where we had I think four video cameras running plus multiple sound devices EVP recorders spirit boxes and such forth none of them recorded anything there was just a total loss for whatever reason we recorded absolutely nothing in the living quarters so we went back for a second attempt but unfortunately on the second attempt the landlady couldn't get anybody to have the dogs so the dogs were upstairs which meant there was no point in filming the living quarters because the obviously noise from the dogs would have polluted everything so we just did the, the downstairs in the pub again so we have yet to go back there but for now here are the highlights from those two investigations that we did at the pub which is the Pantyard Inn in Tregarth in North Wales here's the video you can't be shy if you've thrown darts at Louise and affected her customers. Come out. Come out. Come out. Caught on screen accord. Yeah. Don't dance at the reeds and affect the customers. Come out. Do you again. Do you want to hurt anybody? I'll ask you again, do you want to hurt anybody? Thank you. 
get that. What Come on. What did that say? Did you get that? What Come on. What did that say? I don't know. Say it again, please. A bit that clearer. A, that was a male. That was a male, yeah. 13.3. Yeah. I thought that bang was down here. Yeah. No, it was the poor table there. right there. By me. Are you standing by me now? Honestly, say I've never ever felt that here. Yeah. I don't know if that's new. Yeah. Or if Louise is that new. Have you felt that before? <coughs> and look at where we're sat. Exactly where, where the fork was. Yeah. So I, right, I got a jug to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping that we've caught something. Yeah. The investigation at the pub was a strange one. We can't explain the loss of sound or vision. We can't explain the sudden illness that our member had, although she was fine after a short while. And another incident, we had one of our team members had a necklace snatched from her neck. That's another thing we can't explain. So we're far from finished at that pub in Tregarth yet. The problem we've got because of this lockdown, not only is the pub closed, but the landlady is actually quit the premises so we're currently trying to work out how we're going to be able to get back in there but it really is imperative that we do get in there at some point and finish this investigation we're sure that we have got a whole lot more to find out there yet um, so watch this space and we'll update you on that as soon as we've got something to report since I filmed that last segment I've spoken to Lou who ran the pub and the level up for activity there is exactly the same. There's no change whatsoever. Now, it also looks very much like we are not gonna be able to get back into that pub to finish that investigation. So um, we'll just have to wait and see on that. But at the moment, she's saying there's no way that we will get back in there to finish that investigation, which is a shame because there's so much going on there. Um, we had so much funny stuff happening that we can't explain but never mind that's um that's life i guess anyway our next investigation uh, was an emergency job we, we got a call from uh, a young mother who had had a hell of a night with uh, poltergeist activity uh, she was terrified her children were terrified um, and it's it's we had to just drop everything and and go and investigate this we did however follow our normal procedure one of our team members went out and spoke to the mother and looked around the house and assessed it and then we put a team together and off we went now when you watch this film um, you will see in, in one part of it there's a there's a coke can sitting on a shelf 
and you can see an orb go to this go to this coke can now on the night that she had this activity there was an aerosol can on that shelf which was thrown at force um, out onto the landing uh, now we did we did film the damage on this can that it had occurred in this but we didn't include that in the video because it didn't prove anything anyway here's the highlights from that in from that in investigation we'll, I'll update you at the end of it could we each pick a room and sit in it alone I don't see why I don't. No, exactly. Is that is to you? Is that alright with you you guys? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna i I'm yeah. gonna sit in this one. Okay, dokey. Which one do you want with? Um besides the car of course. Shall I take the room with the recorder in? Okay, dokey. That's the one where the air assault was thrown, isn't it? Yeah, two of them were thrown. Two of them were thrown from yeah. in there. Right. We've got the recorder. Well, I tell you in his room he put that silver spray there and I seen it there last mm. night because I I swear to him getting bad. Stop messing you, about. You think we're more likely to get something if we're alone, do you? Yeah. You think so? Right, what we're, what we're doing now, guys, we're going to take a room each. Yeah. And we're going to um, do like a little thing onto ourselves. Do, be alone in a room. Yeah. For I don't know how long. So you're taking that room. Becky's yeah. in the room downstairs. downstairs. Yeah. And I'm going into this one here, okay. where the recorder okay. is running. Let us see. in this room here on that shelf there an aerosol can was flung into the bedroom sit in silence see if we get anything Right, so there you have the highlights of that investigation. The full video is available on the channel if you want to go and watch that. Now, we think what happened on that evening, the, the couple had a major row. Um, for whatever yeah. reason, I don't know. But they had a major row. And he ended up spending the night in a local travel lodge. So the home was full of negative energy which we think is probably um, what caused all that activity. The good news is it's all quiet there now. Um, life has returned to normal. So uh, we've been able to put that investigation to bed. Now, the one we're gonna move on to next is a couple who lived in a bungalow in Hollyhead. Now, they were having um, shadow figures, noises, voices, and door slamming. Um, 
so we went out to Hollyhead to investigate that and this is the highlights from that investigation. Do you mind end? It's like it's sitting on the chair. Yeah. Give my hand, Give my hand a slap. Go on. Are you, he's got his legs crossed. Look at that. Can you get this screen here as well, Elisa? So you can see that it's Viv. Viv is there. Yeah. And whoever it is is there. See, it's, it's, it knows Viv. See, the one, that, the tall one is Viv. So if you bring it back to the screen here. And the shorter one is whoever is in this house. Yeah. What, on the, the foot of the bed? Uh, yeah, the bottom of the bed. Yeah. And it was heavy. Yeah. And so then, definitely the weight of a person. Yeah. And then batting under the bed. And whispering. Yeah. Can you sit on the bed now? Hello? My hand starts to burn. Is it? Mad, yeah? Mm. Just sat here, just noticed my mark on my arm. Did you feel burning at all? No, nothing. I guess it better. Dad scratched them today, don't worry. After <laughs> <laughs> an old one. There. And it's it's warm. So we'll have to check that and see if it disappears later on. I've only been sat here, I haven't knocked on it. Yeah. If I'd knocked on anything, I would. Can you tap? Make a sound. Can you hear the one? Make a sound. Can you hear the one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Can you do that again? Okay, so there you had the highlights from the uh, couple's bungalow that we filmed in Hollyhead. And the follow-up on that since we were there is the activity as quiet and down, the, or at least the aggressive part of it is, uh, is, is quiet and down. We're, they're not, no longer getting the slamming of the doors and that sort of thing. They're still getting the whispers and the footsteps and such like, but it's a lot quieter than when we were there filming so I think we can put that one to bed we've no plans to go back to that one now I thought I'd give you a change from looking at me and uh, let you see this view across the Menai Straits from Carnarvon to Anglesey with the added bonus of the sunset it's got to be better than looking at me hasn't it right the next three clips we're going to bundle together because we can't really do a follow-up on them due to the lockdown 
um, and that is a pub in Anglesey that we've done. Jane's Grave, which is a, a, a graveyard in Carnarvon, and a department store in Bangor. So because of the lockdown, we, we can't get access to these places, so we can't really do a follow-up. But it's unlikely that any level of activity has changed. It's, it's most likely going to be the same. Anyway, so here are the highlights now from those three clips. Exactly the same as the new, the new uh, housing down the bottom here in the old school land. Yeah. So again, yeah. that used to be a Roman area too. All oh, right. Okay. And but this is all part of the Roman settlements. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's why it, this estate is called Hendre, right. which translated means old town. So could there possibly be Roman soldiers here? Yes. Okay. That's why there I'll, is I'll, a. Okay. Okay, so after abandoning uh dead of the night visit to this cemetery here because we considered it uh, too dangerous because of the uh, rundown state that this cemetery is in you can see how badly overgrown this is and making our way through the cemetery in the dark with untold trip hazards we just considered to be far too dangerous so we've come back here in daylight so that we can show you just how neglected and run down this is I don't know if you can see that in that undergrowth there there is actually a grave under there in fact there's graves underneath all of this but you just simply cannot see it I'll show you the path we took on the night and show you what hazards we faced. Okay. All the pain. All the pain. Who's pain? What a random thing to say, all the pain. Bad. Bad. Did you see that one? No. Did you see that one? No, I'm not even joking, like said in the dark. I'm not no. even joking. No. Were you recording then? Not that way. I got goosebumps as well. Like, in that far door. So just as like that said bad. Zoom. Just as that said bad. Could this be the the spirit that att attacked them? All the pain and bad. They're not positive comments. No. What's that? I can hear it. Okay, so there you had the highlights from those three investigations that we did. And again, all the videos in full are available on our on our channel. And that just about wraps up this uh follow-up video uh, say we're still in lockdown there's still nothing we can do um, and really that's all the follow-ups I can I can give you now we started this video on a musical note and uh, I'm gonna end it on a musical note as well so I'm gonna be heading back to my keyboard in a minute and playing you out um, but I'm gonna leave you with this sunset Say, so looking across the Menai streets, across the Menai Straits, streets, straits across to Anglesey, and I'm going to play you out. Um, so please do remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done already, and uh, remember follow the lockdown rules and keep your social distance, stay home. And most of all, stay safe. And for the loved ones that you can't be with, be sure to give them a call and say, I love you. 
So until next time, I bid you farewell and I'm going to play you out. Thanks for watching.